Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. <coughs> Excuse me, because I have to type out the theme parks, the movies, programs, whatever. So, for this video, I want to talk about a Disney Channel original movie titled How to Build a Better Boy which honestly I didn't know that this was a Disney original channel movie at first because I never heard of this film before and I came across this film in Disney Plus so yeah I don't own a physical copy of this movie maybe I originally would I don't know let's see how things go I guess but yeah, I figured I would review this because I watched this recently, and I want to talk about more Disney movies and whatnot. But once I discovered that this is a Disney Channel original movie, oh my god, no, 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 because when it comes to these types of movies that Disney have produced, I like Disney on all, but uh, they have a bad rep when it comes to these movies, the Disney Channel original movies, because... The vast majority of them are garbage. And even when they're better, they still manage to be just okay. Baby, okay. On a good day, some of these movies are just okay. Just very adequate. So, once I discovered that this was a Disney Channel original movie, my expectations went real low, real fast. And it says it's a Disney original channel movie right at the beginning uh but yeah whatever whatever i gave this movie a chance anyway to see if it would impress me because i, I don't want to be biased here all right all right anyway but anyway as usual i have to talk about the plot so let's just get into it shall we the story of this film features this uh young woman and her friend both of these characters to go to a school. So yeah, this is one of those films, again, using school as a setting. Yeah, like I, have, like I haven't seen that like a million times already when it comes to these movies. And I've seen it like in an, an anime quite often, which also bothers me. Ugh. I mentioned this before, but it's still pretty annoying. But yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's just the whole school thing as a setting. Ugh. I'm getting, of, I'm getting tired of seeing that used. Come on. Ugh. Doesn't know. But anyway, as I was saying, but uh, yeah, it starts off innocent in love. You know, they just want to do their thing like any young person would do. Enjoy life, have fun, talk to friends, be as social as you can and whatnot. You know, the good stuff, I guess. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, it sets around these two characters who pretty much no love in life, of course, like most young folks would. Uh, and yeah. But uh, going on with the whole the tire of the movie, yeah. The government does have this type of technology. Yeah, it goes into the whole bit with the secret service and whatnot. And you know the 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 military. I guess to be more specific, the military. But you know, the military and the government will, of course, go hand in hand, obviously. The military have this type of thing that they would, um, uh, operate, of course. It's type of new, it's like brand new technology that was never tested before. Yeah, you can always see where this is going. Young folk, these women, and this technology. Oh, gee, I wonder what's, I wonder what's going to happen. Hmm. But yeah, anyway. So, yeah. You, you, as you can guess, put two and two together, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what kind of crazy events was going to happen here. But anyway, point being, one day, however, they want their uh, laptop, well, somebody's laptop, is one of theirs. They start, you know, toying around, of course, on just like the title suggests, How to Build a Better Boy. Yeah. You know where this is heading to, of course. Of course, the technology that the marriage has and the government and whatnot, and they they have unintentionally 
cause something to go haywire. And they, um, yeah, they get what they wanted. But later on, it, uh, they do discover that this this boy that they helped help to build is is like a weapon, pretty much. But that gets it comes into play like way later. So, uh, but anyway, in the meantime, so this this brand new student, this guy, he comes to school, and he's basically doing everything great. Oh, gee, I wonder why, huh? Hmm. Yeah, the the football team, whatever you want to call it, he does everything fantastic. And he reads really well. He can read an entire thick novel within, what, less than a few minutes? And when it comes to sports, he's instantaneously great at it. And again, I wonder how that happened, huh? Hmm. But yeah. But, um, our main character's friend does notice that this guy, uh, he's not like uh, he's not like the other boys. He's actually outperforming every other student and in the school in every which way possible, because he's he's instantaneously great at it. But uh, yeah, she oh, the main character's friend does find that kind of suspicious, and she you know clicks. Okay, she put two and together. This is the boy that they have to create. And, uh, but yeah, goes to the school setting and whatnot. And in the process of the story, our main character, um, starts to take a liking to him, of course. And this has something to do with the fact from way earlier in the film where she basically wants to know, she wants to have a relationship with somebody. How does it feel to be in love with somebody? And, yeah. You can already tell this may not go as well as she would hope for and whatnot. And, uh, but yeah. I mean, of course, things don't go exactly as smoothly as, you know, they would hope and whatnot. And, yeah, that's basically the premise of this movie and whatnot. Kind of a strange concept, I guess in some ways you can say for, um, Disney Red Joe Channel. Well, I can't blame them for being creative. I guess you can say, I'll give you that, I can't, um, I'm blamed for being a little creative, I guess you can say. I don't know. I mean, okay, this type of idea isn't exactly brand new. This idea has been done before in other movies. Disney was not the only one who done it. So, yes, it's pretty predictable in some ways of the film. And it's not exactly original, sure. But, at the end of the day, folks... This was, well, <coughs> excuse me, it was one of the better films that the Disney original channel movie had done. It's, I mean, it's by no means great. Yes, it's cheesy. Yes, those moments in there that I thought was cringe, which it was. Ugh. But, um, it's a few times I'm like, who talks like that? No, no more human being speaks like this. Yeah, the characters don't really, um, uh, yeah, it's a bit cringe in some ways. But yeah, at the end of the day, this is supposed to be like a kind of an age comedy type high school kind of a thing. High school, middle school, whatever you call that. Uh, it's going for that kind of a thing going on here, folks. And it, uh, it's a pretty alright movie, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty solid, decent movie. Turn out better than I would. I thought it was gonna be the acting was decent and yeah not a terrible movie by any means but it was it was a pretty solid feature maybe not something I would watch over and over again but it, it was a pretty alright yeah it was a pretty solid movie as a whole not this spectacular but it was pretty alright and I'll give this film an overall rating of a six point eight out of ten it gets a six point eight out of ten for me. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Till next time, see ya, oh yeah, later.